Hi there and welcome back to DM Key Skoda in Wakefield. Today I'm going to be showing you around Kia Yankee 23, Yankee Mike Victor, which is this stunning Skoda Karok Sportline in Meteor Grey as you can see. It's a 2 litre diesel with 150 brake horsepower and a 7 speed DSG automatic and it's looking fantastic with a nice black accents throughout. I'm going to show you around it now, show you some of the features. We'll start off with the alloy wheels, a nice eight, uh, 19 inch excuse me, alloy wheels with the aero covers designed to uh, lower drag coefficient and improve economy on the car. All four wheels are in excellent condition and so are the tyres. Moving further back we've got the black wing mirror covers, black roof bars matching the uh, black window surrounds and the tinted rear glass. You've got the body colour lower skirt um, splits on there with the black section there. You've got the filler cap as usual on the right hand side. And then coming around to the back, you can see we've got the black lettering with Skoda and Karok and just a subtle indication there that this is the 4x4 Haldex system on this car. And if I show you in the boot, which is electronically operated, you'll find we've got a decent sized boot space in here, very practical. It comes with the double-sided boot mat for carpet or uh, rubber. You've got levers to lower the seats from back here, shopping bag hooks, you've got anchor points and tether points. Below the floor, you also have a space saver spare wheel with all the accoutrements to fit it at the side of the road. There is even here, if I pull this lever, a pop-up tow bar as well, which is very handy for towing, very capable and practical. Another 12 volt charger socket there, very nice. I'll just put that away there. Nice and easy and you just tuck away like so. Very nice. Then if I show you in the seats there, allow me to just pop the seat back up. In here we've got full black cloth uh, seats in here with a nice white stitching in the cross pattern there. Got three headrests here, they're 60-40 rear folding seats with ice fix points on the left and right hand side seats, even with the original cover still on. Then you've got a centre armrest here in place of the third seat with two and a half cup holders and access to the ski hatch. You've got, um, as you can see, lovely clean carpets down there, another 12 volt charge socket there, and very, very nice bucket seats in front as well. You've also got the full panoramic glass roof with the front section that opens. However, given the weather today, I won't be able to open that for you. Got keyless entry on the driver and front passenger door as well as the boot lid. And then as you come to the front, you can see we have Nice daytime running lights in the corners, you've got a full black grille and lower grille, looking very, very nice and sporty. Then, stepping into the driver's seat, it's still very well laid out and very well looked after in here. As you can see in the centre screen, we've got the virtual cockpit, which is controlled by these buttons here. And as you can see, just on the bottom there, we've got 2,886 miles on the clock, which for a diesel is very, very low. You've got your indicator on here, and below that, the adaptive cruise control system. On the opposite side, your front and rear wipers. On the steering wheel itself, you've got flappy paddles for up and down gear. You've got, on the left-hand side, heated steering wheel, voice control, radio or song selection, and volume control there. And obviously controls on this side for the virtual cockpit. Down here, you've got your automatic lights with front and rear fog lights. Below that, the electric tailgate. Pull once um, and let go for it to fully open. Pull and hold for it to close. Then you've got all electric window and mirror adjustments, including electronic heating and folding and rear window locks, so children's locks there. Then in the infotainment, we've got DAB and AM, FM radio. You've got Bluetooth connectivity for your phone and for your music. In this car, there is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, as well as a built-in satellite navigation system. There is also, as you can see on the driver assist, there is adaptive cruise, front collision uh, warning, trailer assist, uh, lane assist, traffic sign recognition and tide, uh, tiredness monitoring, excuse me. Then you can also see with this button you've got front and rear parking sensors and when you put the car into reverse you get the rear camera as well, which is a nice feature to have. And with this button down here you've got drive mode select as well and being the 4 before, you have snow mode as well. Below that you've got the air conditioning system, a dual climate control system that can be separated just by adjusting one or the other. Press sync and it'll focus on what the driver has it set to. You've got your front heated seats as well and in between that your direction buttons for the aircon. Below that you've got auto stop start system on or off, parking sensors, hazards and door locks. Below that under this cover you've got a wireless charging set with two USB-C ports and the third and final 12 volt charger socket. 
Then the gearbox itself, seven speeds, four before, 99% of the time it's front wheel drive until it needs uh, power sent to the rear. Nice and smooth through all the gears, pull back once for sport, pull back again for normal drive, and knock left for manual gear changes, either done there or here. Then behind that, you've got your electronic handbrake with an auto hold function, drive mode select, and also traction control. Then here you've got storage uh, under the armrest with the two cup holders and key holder. You can remove this section entirely and just have a large storage unit or you can just fully close it up or use it as an adjustable armrest. And then finally you've got a illuminated glove box in here with the service history of the vehicle. And finally you've got storage on top of the dashboard as well. So a fantastic car, it's been very well looked after. If you are interested please do feel free to visit us at Denbydale Road Wakefield WF27AW or alternatively give us a call on 01924 246 900. Thank you very much for your time. You take care now.